What's up ladies and gentlemen? This is K. Scotta from Tech Synchronizer. Once again we back in another video. So today's video I am going to explain more about SOC or system on chip and its components as it is one of the most important chip in our devices. So let's get straight to the content. You might wonder how we share files to external smartphone while watching movies and replying to our messages at the same time in one computer or smartphone. Well this is a product of most important chip known as SOC, System on Chip in full words. It is called System on Chip because it is an integrated circuit that manages the data flow between the processor, memory and peripherals. It is usually found on the motherboard. This chip is usually designed to work with the specific family of microprocessors. Because it controls communications between the processor and external devices, the chipset plays a crucial role in determining system performance. Because SOC includes both the hardware and software, it uses less power, hence better performance, also requires less space and is more reliable than multi-chip systems. Most system on chips today come inside mobile devices and other devices like smartphones, game consoles, embedded systems and tablets. It's great that we already know what SOC is. Now let's dive in, and find out most useful components of SOC. SOC contains CPU Central Processing Unity GPU Graphics Processing Unity RAM Random Access Memory ROM Read-Only Memory Modem Operating System Utility Software Applications Voltage Regulators and Power Management Circuits Timing Sources such as Phase Lock or Loop Control peripherals such as real-time clocks, counter timers and power on reset generators. External interfaces such as USB, FireWire, Ethernet, Universal Synchronous Receiver and Transmitter. Serial Peripheral Interface Bus. Ant. Analog interfaces such as digital to analog converters and analog to digital converters. This is how SACs are designed. As there are different types of devices, they can't have same system on chip. That's why there is types in SOX. There are four types of SOCs. Microcontroller found in embedded systems. Microprocessor found in mobile computing. Specialized SOCs designed for specific applications. In programmable SOCs here name explain itself they are reprogrammables though in this type most of functionalities are fixed. Other types of system on chip are included in above main types. Nowadays there are many SAC designers, but now we are going to cover main of them. Most popular SOC suppliers are ARM Holdings Advanced Micro Devices, AMD Apple Incorporated this one provide A and S series, Axe by Onyx. The Silicon provide Karen as most popular SOC. Intel Corporation their SOC is called Atom. MediaTek provide Helio and MTKs. NVIDIA they provide Tegra. Qualcomm. With three branches, Snapdragon, Krite, and Scorpion. Samsung which provide the Exynos. Spread to more Unisoc. Apart from listed processor suppliers there are other providers I bet we can't list them in a single video. As you can see they all have names like processors used in the devices. Yes because, processor get name from SOC because they all have different architecture. This means that we can't use Snapdragon processor into an MTK SOC. So far we know what SOC in our devices means and their types. It's time to differentiate SOC from a processor because they are quite confusing when it comes to their models. As we know SOC is an integrated circuit that combines all the primary components of a computer into a single chip. While processor is the electronic circuitry within a computer that executes instructions that make up a computer program. The CPU performs basic arithmetic, logic, controlling, and input, output, I.O. operations specified by the instructions in the program. 
you can tell yourself that CPU performed all the instructions in the SLC field. Also CPU is made into cores or segments. Either dual core, quad core, hex core, acta core or deco core. And all of those are equipped into a single chip which also attached in a bigger chip called SOC. That's the difference out there. This brings me to the end of video but before ending this video, let me just remind you what we have discovered. Now we know that SOC is an integrated circuit, also known as a chip, that integrates all or most components of a computer or other electronic system. These components almost always include a central processing unit, CPU, memory, input, output ports and secondary storage all on a single substrate or microchip. It must contain digital, analog, mixed signal, and often radio frequency signal processing functions. Otherwise it will only be considered as an application processor. As they are integrated on a single substrate, SOCs consume much less power and take up much less area than multi-chip designs with equivalent functionality. Because of this, SOCs are very common in the mobile computing, such as smartphones, and edge computing markets. Also we found that every instruction done in a computer or a smartphone, is processed by electronic circuitry known as CPU which will be covered in our next video. As always thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, don't hesitate to comment them in a comment section. Also if my videos are important. Like, share and don't go without subscribing and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. May peace be with you.